Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Hub. This is tutorial session for you. In this tutorial session, we are going to set up Jetty server in Visual Studio Code. So guys, in this session, we will see how to download and how to set up the server in Visual Studio Code. Also, we will learn how to work and perform some important tasks as to start the server, restart the server, stop and delete the servers, how to debug and how to run and how to delete the war package, how to deploy the war application. Uh, on the server and guys these are the steps that we are going to perform which are written in front of you also we will see how many types of error we will face at the time setting up the jetty server in visual studio code without wasting time we are going to start let's begin first thing first we need to uh, perform the step one in which we need to download the jetty server from the given link the same link given in the description guys you can check and copy the link from that place visit your favorite browser and when you land on this page you will see this is the jetty server by the eclipse foundation and you will see jetty download sections at this place we have three different versions i have tried 10.0.7 and 11.0.7 but guys which are not uh the perfect version they are uh, giving soft error so i would suggest avoid all those uh, later releases use 9.4.44 for your projects so in front of there is the link of the zip file click on it and uh, this jetty server file will be downloaded so guys put this jetty zip on a separate place and uh, we need to extract this zip file here we go and uh, we got this project uh, jetty folder the server folder inside we have all these important files the main important file is start.jar and uh, we have a lot of things here so this is just a, a check this is just a verification now we have uh, performed this step one successfully now it's time to move on this step two now in the step two guys we need to install a jetty extension in visual studio code after that we will restart our vs code this is the important thing now i'm going to show you how you will do it here we go this is the visual studio code as you can see this is the same project which i have used in my previous tutorial session so in that tutorial session i have described how to create this uh, web project the maven based web project in visual studio code so guys link given in the description box you can watch that tutorial for better understanding so i'm going to use the same project in this tutorial session this is the server jsp project we have uh, two jsp files there's a one class which is the servlet and that will uh, process our request and here in the web.xml we have the servlet mappings so we simply uh, handling one url forward slash hello if we send the request with the hello then this server will invoke and this will forward our request to the hello.jsp and the message will print on the browser and here is the poem.xml we have the dependency servlet at this place now click at this uh, extension button and guys on the search box you have to type jetty and you will see only one single result result click on it and uh, on this page you will see jetty for java if you click this will navigate to the marketplace which is to good website so we don't need to do it simply click, click on the install button i have already installed it that's why this is showing the disable and uninstall button for me in your case you will see the install button simply click on it this will take 5 to 10 seconds to install and guys it's after the installation we need to close the visual studio code then we will open vs code again so this is the vs code loaded again so we have uh, completed step 2 now we are going to perform this step 3 so in the step 3 we need to add the jetty server in visual studio code so i will show you how you will do it after the installation of the jetty extension you will see there is a node jetty servers up here at this place in front of that you have this plus 
button simply you need to click on it and this will show you the browse window so guys we have to look for the folder which we have extracted from the server zip file so here's my extracted folder so i have to select the parent folder only okay i have just select it it and i will paste it here this way as well okay this is done once you click you will see jetty distribution and name is something there and this will be added at your place and uh, you will see there is a red square that means jetty server is stopped now to start the server you need to do a right click you will see these options you have the start you have a rename you have a debug you have a delete so we will simply going to click on the start so i just clicked on the start but suddenly we got some error unable to access jar file user slash mac so guys we are hitting this error because vs code trying to reach at the start dot jar of uh, this jetty server oh, in there's a space or some problem with the folder name so we need to correct it so solution is we have to place uh, this jetty server in a folder where in the path there is there should be no space so you can see this is my uh, uh, server location and you can see the path at this place there is a space between the name of this folder jetty space server space setup space vs space code also we have this space in the username that's why this is not reaching at the right place and somehow not able to detect the right path so what i will do i will copy this jetty server and i will place here in the c drive where there is no folder with space in its name that's it now the path is straightforward now this can easily detect the start.jar file now what i have to do i have to delete this server now i will again the server by clicking this plus button and i will give the path so we reached at the new location so i have selected the parent folder of the server jar server this way and you can see there is no space in the folder name this is the correct thing that we have to do okay that this is added now it's time to start so the same way i will start do a right click click on the start <clears throat> finger crossed seems everything is fine so it may be start okay here we go we are getting uh, some output here on the console but suddenly we got a error message command field with exit code something so we have to look for the problem or a cause so here look at here caused by this illegal state exception config does not exit something i think it is looking for some file in a particular location in programs microsoft vs code etc real m dot properties okay guys to fix this we need to uh, do one additional step i will show you what we are going to do we are simply going to create the real m dot properties file at the required location so we are performing this thing in four and uh, now i'm taking you back on the file explorer so i'm looking for the right place so this is the user and uh, my user is macwin and uh, now we need to look for the app data folder actually app data folder by default is hidden you have to unhide it so you have to go on the top menu view option and then you will see the checkbox hidden item if this checkbox is unchecked you cannot see your app data folder so guys we have to go inside the local then we moved inside the programs then we found the microsoft vs code folder so we reached uh, almost there and uh, we need one more folder etc then we will create the real amp dot properties file so i think that etc folder is not present here so we need to create here we go etc and now inside the etc i will create that real m dot properties file 
I don't know what is the exact use of this realm.properties file, but I found this solution. So I want to share with you to save your time to looking the, after these problems solutions. So which is required, we have given realm.properties on the right place. And now I just cleared out the output. Here we go again to the right click, click on the start. And now I'm hoping everything will be good and our server will start without any error. Here we go. Guys, congratulations. We found the success and uh, look at the last line. This is showing me a message. Your server is started without any problem. Now this way we have resolved the problem and uh, which was coming due to the missing realm.properties file. Now guys, at the step five, uh, before going to perform the step, uh, next step, we simply check the server is running or not. You have to go localhost colon 8080, then uh, press enter. You will see the uh, home page from the Jetty server. That means your server is running properly. Now I will stop this server. Now we are moving to the next step. In the next step, we will see how to create the var file from that web project and how to deploy in a jetty server and how to launch our application so we will see in the sixth step so i will perform these two steps one by one so guys uh, if you really don't know how to create a web project in the uh, visual studio code with the help of maven so guys please watch that the tutorial for which the link is given in the description of this tutorial So please watch that tutorial quickly and come back here and continue with this tutorial session. I am putting everything in detail because of uh, avoiding any conflict, any error, any exception, any problem in the installation process. That's why I'm uh, describing everything in detail now we are good to go now we are uh, going to next on the left hand side in the bottom you will see there is a node maven when you expand it you will find there is a three more items which have some childs as well so there's a item plugins now expand this node and you will find these options clean resources war compilers so far. these are the plugins which can help you to create the war files you can build your project as a war exploded or you can simply use the war which is the last one or simply you have to click this run button and you have to simply clear the output so guys one important thing if you are proceeding with this commands you must have maven set up in your windows or in your system so if you still not have the maven then definitely this will show you one error that maven is not found so in my uh, system maven is already set up okay going forward and finally we found our project here in the target for uh, directory and this is the build and finally we have this demo.war file of our project now it's easy select the war file and uh, do the right click on it and here we will get the option in the bottom. We can simply debug it or we can simply run it with, by selecting the options. So I have just selected run on the Jetty server and immediately the Jetty server will up and uh, start running and deployment procedure is in place. And finally we see demo uh, war file is deployed in the server and this is ready to run. So how you will run it? You do not need to separately launch the browser and type the local host or something. We simply do it with the help of doing a right click on the war file and simply launch the browser. I will show you. So this is the URL. I have added this in the browser as well. So you can follow this thing as well. And uh, we can do it this way as well on the war open in the browser 
we have just clicked the right right click and selected the open browser then you will see the hello cool it help so this is coming from our index.jsp so this is the welcome file which we have set up in the web.xml so this is the message we are getting on the browser now guys uh, we have written one servlet already so we need to run that servlet as well to run that servlet we need to uh, send a request with the help of uh, hello so we have to send a url pattern forward slash hello then the servlet will come in place and it will process our request so i am adding hello in the web request press enter and uh, we got the response warm well, welcome to cool it help please like and subscribe to appreciate so guys this is the hello.jsp which is uh, uh, sending response back to us so we asked for the hello and uh, the servlet uh, is executed and uh, redirected the response to the hello.jsp so guys uh, this project is working properly if you want to stop do a right click on this demo war file and uh, stop it and you have the option to delete the war file now guys we will see how to debug simply we have to go to the war file do a right click and select this option debug on jetty server and now the jetty server will start in debug mode and you will see the controls on the top of this section so guys uh, we are going to debug our servlet and uh, you can see there is a red dot is running just in front of the line number so you have to use the cursor and hit on this red button so your breakpoint will set uh, in front of the line for which you want to apply debug so guys on the left hand side on this uh, area you can see the variables i will hit the request again from the browser so uh, the control will reach at this line so web xml will check the url and then uh, call the appropriate servlet and uh, we have only one servlet so our request will reach at this place and uh, finally we will see the debug cursor right here okay uh, so the line for which we have uh, applied the breakpoints which is highlighted now we can debug from the left hand side you can see the variable when you expand the tree of uh, the variables you will see some local variables and uh, their internal variables so we have a request object so what is inside the request objects you can expand the tree and you can check it so you will see all the information from left hand side so you can debug uh, easily with this visual studio code if you want to move you can use the control on the top so you can press f10 to move the further on the next line and then keep on if you want to continue and you want to skip all the debug points simply press f5 to continue so this uh, tutorial is not just about the debugging uh, i'm simply telling you the way one way to debug this thing so i have uh, <clears throat> this will help you to explore more on the debugging side in visual studio code i will uh, try my best to bring some uh, new tutorial on a vs code debugging but meanwhile i'm uh, telling you a little bit a uh, basic idea here so guys this way we can debug our war file or any class file okay guys we uh, just perform the uh, step six and seven now it's time for step eight so guys please appreciate our work by hitting the like button on tutorials if you found this tutorial relevant and useful please you can subscribe also you can press the bell icon for get the notification from our new upcoming video tutorial sessions and guys stay safe thanks for watching cool it help see you in next tutorial